uh, introduce yourself to us. Okay, I am Rejoice Mabudapasi, Deputy Minister of Water and Environment in South Africa. Um, how would this conference impact on your water sector? This conference, I see it as an enriching conference as we debate and interact and uh, exchange ideas on challenges that we have and also talk about our gains because I think each and every country has got some gains that could be a solution to the next country. And this conference, I see it also as something that we, we have enthusiasm among the youth that they are learning as they come to participate in this conference. And this conference also will be able to unite us as we talk about water. And also it's important to say that it's not just a water sector, it should be all other sectors that should be there, other departments should be part of it as water has got an impact on other issues like agriculture, forestry, health and all others. So this conference is quite an important one that when we come to Stockholm we go back and reach to take this information and all the experiences back to our countries. Yes, what is the water situation now in South Africa? The, the water solution in South Africa is, uh, of course, we, there's, I don't think there is a 100% solution to all of us as part of uh, the developing countries who are faced with many other challenges that are there, diseases, hunger, and all uh, you know the climate change that is there. But however, because number one, uh, the water issues are protected by our, our constitution as a basic human right. That is why our indigenous people are getting free water, uh, basic free water, so that everyone has got uh, water, as water is a human right. So that's where we have started, and we, we, have, we are building on that in order that everyone has water, even in the rural areas, trying to have the bulk infrastructures and that we reticulate to water to where people are. The challenges, of course, are there. We've got some parts that have got aging, a bulk infrastructure, and they also. Some infrastructure was done when communities, when people are few, now communities have grown, we have to, to increase it. However, since we've identified the challenges, we have to come up with, with uh, solutions. And also, that's why we come to this conference, we support it because that's why we build partnerships and that's where we are able to exchange and enrich ourselves. We are saying that the issue of skills, the issue of technologies, on also experience of how other countries overcome some of the challenges that we have. Thank you very much.